Hey everyone, my name is Vic and welcome back to another Caden Live video. Today we are going to be covering audio alignment and the latest Caden Live 20.04 release. When Caden Live 20.04 was released, I'm just at the website here and they've got the announcement. One of the new features that kind of caught my attention was the batch alignment of clips based on the audio. So they include this simple animation in their blog, just, you know, a couple of clicks, you right click and you set the audio reference and then you can align the other audio based on that reference audio. So we're going to put that to the test in today's video. So we're going to do a couple of experiments. Switching over to my Caden Live over here, I will just do a quick version check so that we can stay up to date. So we are at version 20.04.2. If you've got the same version, feel free to follow along. So we're going to drag in a song here. And this is just one of the songs that you can download for free over at the YouTube audio library. And I'm just going to play a little bit of a snippet here just so you know what we're working with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this up into pieces. So I've randomly chopped it up and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to delete these random segments. So this is kind of to simulate that we have different audio pieces. To make sure that Caden Live is actually doing its job and aligning the audio correctly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy these and then place them directly in the track below. Now these are going to be our control or our reference. So we'll see whether or not Caden Live is actually going to return them back to where they used to be. So actually, I'm going to use A1. So audio track one is our control. A2 is going to be our test. So I'm going to lock A1, and I'm going to turn off the sound for that for now. And for A2, I'm going to just jumble this up. We're going to bring in our reference track, which is the whole song at the bottom here. We're going to set this as our reference. So I'm going to right click and set audio reference. Now when I click this, it's actually going to process. So pay attention to the lower left corner of the screen. There you go. It happened really fast because it's just a short um, song. It's a small audio file, but if you've got something longer, like maybe an hour long podcast or something like that, it might take longer to process. So I recommend you wait for it to finish before you do your alignment. Okay, so we've set it up as our reference. Let's take this one and let's see if we can align it. So I'm just right clicking and align to audio reference. Yep, it returned back to where it's supposed to go. So that's pretty good. So we did that with one. Let's try to see, I'm just going to undo that. Let's see if we can do it with all five. So one, two, three, four, five. Align audio to reference. Ah, so we see that, you know, something's not right. So maybe uh, there is a limit. We'll try that again. Let's see if we can I think in my test before, I think we're limited to three. So let's align three. Yep, that did the job. Just gonna undo. Let's see if after three, it breaks. So, yeah. So doing it more than, more than three tracks probably breaks the program. So, uh, or breaks the functionality, I should say, not the program. Even though it says batch alignment, maybe batch uh, two audio clips or three audio clips max. If you want, I think if you do it one by one, I think it, it's not going to show you any problems. So let's just try doing it one by one. 
line order reference that's pretty good one by one yep pretty good so yes you should do it um, I think just one by one so you can apply this for example if you've got uh, two pieces of recording so if you're recording audio and video from two different cameras and you want to save some of the burden of having to try to you know align and sync the audio with the video with camera one and camera two this could be something that saves you a lot of time okay so switching gears for a little bit we're gonna do a uh, real test here so I did a radio show with one of my friends uh, back in 2019 so he's processed the audio and you know we have the finished file here and I recorded some video of when we both sat down so here's a video of me um, oh, really? just talking yeah. you know so but this was part of the entire recording so I want to see whether or not Kaden Live can actually save me time and align this audio this uh, video with the main audio so we'll pull the main audio down to our timeline here so this is a long track this is about let's have a look almost two hours right so it's we're gonna really put Kaden Live to its paces here so it's gonna set this as the audio reference and this is gonna take some time so it's processing here so I might actually fast forward this all right so that took a bit of time to actually analyze because it's such a big file so you know um, if you are trying to do this and I am on a, I'm using an SSD so my videos are actually on an SSD drive I noticed that that makes a huge difference in the performance um, okay so we're gonna pull down this uh, video clip of me and what we're gonna do is I want to see where this actually aligns so same concept right so we already set our reference let's align this to our audio reference and I fast forwarded through that as well because that took a bit of time as well it looks like it aligned somewhere here so what I'm actually gonna do is let's zoom in and I'm going to turn off the audio for this track so that when I'm speaking you can actually see my mouth aligned with the audio, the master audio at the bottom. So fingers crossed, let's have a look. Three years. Oh, really? Yeah. So Australia and Canada, not, not too much different? Oh, it's very different, man. Is it? Very different, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of similarities, you know, with the... So that's pretty good, right? So it aligned the audio. So just to show you that that was for real, let me mute that and unmute this. And this is from a different audio source, so the quality of the audio is going to be slightly different. So have a look and have a listen. The uh, English sort of uh, history, you know, with the English occupation back yeah. in the day. Yeah, you, there's a lot of shared architecture. There you go. So there's no background music. There's no post-production. So obviously the finished master audio is a lot nicer. Sure. Uh, especially with uh, with all the heritage buildings and the, uh, the Victorian art. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you see a lot of that. So that's pretty much it guys hopefully this helps you this is a tremendous um, improvement I think this is a great feature that they've added into the update potentially saving a lot of time in aligning you know multiple uh, video tracks um, with you know the same audio but it could have been recorded with different audio sources anyway thank you for the person that actually pointed this out they were asking about me to demonstrate some of the new features of Caden Live so if you've got any questions, uh, write in the comments. Hopefully this helped you out, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.